Hi, first YouTube video. I asked you guys on Instagram what I should do for a first YouTube video. And a lot of you guys said a lot of things I can't really put on YouTube and I can't really show. But someone did suggest to do a behind the scenes of a concert. So that's exactly what we're going to be doing. Let's get to it. So obviously I can't play any of the audio from the GoPro, so I've decided to muffle it, that way you guys can get a feel for what the gig was like and I avoid you getting into any copyright trouble. With the voiceover, I'm kind of aiming to walk you through the process of capturing a live performance, what lenses and settings I use, and give you a general idea of what goes on behind the scenes of a concert photographer. So the current area I'm sitting in is called the pit. The pit separates the crowd from the performers or band and it gives us photographers a bit of space to move around, get close-ups or action shots of the band. We usually allow the first three songs in the pit but that very much depends on the band playing. Some bands are very chill and just let us stay for as long as we want. Some bands just like us for the first two songs. It really depends on who's playing. For the first two songs, I use my 20 to 75 just to get close-ups of the performers, as you can see on screen right now. And for the last one, you can see me switching to my 8mm fisheye here, so I can get a wide shot of every single band member. Third song just finished, which means I'm going to make my way out of the pit and go around the whole venue to get some different angles and perspectives. But before I do that, I'm going to switch back to my 28 to 75 so I can have a bit more flexibility when it comes to composition. I'm quite familiar with this venue and I know most of the good photo spots, but for me it's very important to capture as many angles as possible in that one hour window I have. My favourite type of shots are obviously hands up in the air, very dramatic lighting, or just very wide-angle shots of the whole venue itself. Now I'm making my way up to the terrace level so I can get a higher vantage point which makes for interesting compositions. As I said, my main goal is just to get as many angles as I possibly can and also try to make the shots interesting through composition, action or lighting. Usually before the show, I speak to the light tech asking him what kind of lighting the band likes or if he can do certain effects during the show like those light rays you just saw. Now I'm going to try to get one of my favourite photos, which is a side angle of the performer with the crowd. I usually spend about 2-3 to three minutes at every photo spot and take between 40-60 to 60 photos just to make sure I'm satisfied with what I've got. Yeah. 
this is a really cool spot I recently discovered. You can see the crowd, stage, banner, and it gives a good sense of how busy the room is. My main job is just to make everything look really cool, capture action, performers, crowd reactions like this one, and just have fun. So that was it. Last song. Now I'm going to go back to the audio from the GoPro. We'll see you guys down on Max. Thank you so, so much. Cheers. So, that was the gig. It was really fun, really loud, but really fun. Now comes the fun part of every gig I'm gonna be going through and editing everything on my phone. I'm gonna send photos straight from my camera to the phone, edit them on Lightroom Mobile, and then I'm gonna send them to John. I'm gonna post them on socials, and after that, I'm gonna go home, edit every single raw photo, since when I send them from my A7 III to my iPhone, unfortunately, I don't get the raws, I only get the JPEGs. Let's get through that. So what I'm gonna do is select the best ones out of all of these photos. Oh, that one's really cool. I love this angle from like behind the stage. Let me see if I can... I can't really see it that well. I've taken a lot of photos. Oh, this one's sick. So what I'm doing now is I'm literally going through all of the photos that I've selected from my camera that I think are edit worthy. And I'm adjusting highlights, shadows, blacks, whites, making the colors pop a bit making them a bit nicer and whoops and what I'm gonna do is after I've gone through all these photos I'm just gonna export mostly all of them and after that I'm going to go through another quality selection process and figure out which ones are the best ones I want to send to John okay I'm nearly done with the photos okay there you go I think we're nearly done there you go. This is my final shot. I'm gonna edit. It's actually insane how much like information JPEGs retain. There you go. These are the edited ones. So I'm just gonna select the best ones. Okay, so that was uh, that was the gig. That was really good fun. I'm now gonna go home and actually edit all the photos on Lightroom on my PC, so you guys can see the high res previews on the video itself. Uh, just finished editing them on my phone. I'll see you at home. And it's the next day. So I've just nearly finished editing the video. I want to say a big thank you to John and Banquet Records for letting me do this, for letting me film the gig. If you've made it this far into the video, thank you so much for watching. If you have any suggestions for videos I should make, anything you'd like to see me do, leave it in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.